The Google mobile first update is coming out in a matter of months. And for the first time ever, Google is gonna be ranking your website inside of all the search results based off of the mobile site first, opposed to the desktop. This could mean big gains in traffic for some people and big drops in traffic for other people. And that's what I'm talking about today. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about the Google Mobile First Update is that you need to have a mobile equivalent of every single page that you want to rank well in Google. So make sure that you don't just have a desktop version, that you also have a mobile version for all these pages that you want to rank. Okay, so the second thing that you want to make sure that you have is all of your pages passing the Google Mobile Testing Tool test, right? So you can put your pages inside of the Google Mobile Testing Tool. It's a good idea to do this on a template by template basis. So your home page, your main category pages, your main service pages, your main landing page templates, and make sure that all of those pages pass. In addition to that, you can go inside of Google Search Console and you can check out the mobile usability report. The mobile usability report is going to crawl all of your pages and tell you whether or not they're mobile ready. So make sure that you do those two things and you're going to be in good shape to diagnose whatever mobile issues you might have. Okay, so the next thing that you need to know for the Google Mobile First Update is that you need to have good page speed. Now there's really two ways to go about doing this. One is to make your website AMP ready, and then the other way is to work with your existing website to improve the page speed on the normal HTML page. I'm gonna put a link in the YouTube description down here to a video that I did on AMP and some resources so that you can check it out. Now on the normal HTML uh, page, just to make that faster page speed, there's a great page speed uh, testing tool that you can check out that Google provides. It's gonna tell you everything that's wrong uh, with your website and, and how you can increase page speed. So make sure you take a look at that. Generally, the things that I like to start with to increase page speed are make sure you have a really fast server and then make sure that your, all your images are the correct size. Those are usually two of the fastest and easiest things that you can do to increase page speed to your site. Okay, another tip that I have for the Google Mobile First Update that's coming out soon is if you're not using responsive design and you're using a mobile subdomain or you're using um, another way to optimize your website for mobile called Very HTTP Header, make sure that you're keeping a really close eye on what Google's saying technically. The reason for that is the way that those technical configurations are set up is probably not gonna be 100% conducive to the new Mobile First Index. So there's a good chance that Google's gonna come out with new technical specifications, so make sure you keep an eye on that. Another interesting thing about the Google Mobile First update that you're gonna to wanna to know is that Google has now said that in the mobile first world, they're going to crawl text that's underneath read more links and drop downs. So this is awesome, right? Because it's a great usability feature for people to be able to click a drop down and read more information. And also it's going to help you with that ranking that you wanna get in Google because you're gonna be able to have more text on the page. Okay, that's it for tips for the Google Mobile First update today. Make sure that you have fast page speed. Go accelerated mobile pages if you can. Make sure to check out the Google Mobile Usability Report inside of Google Search Console and, and look at that for all of your pages. Try the Google Mobile Testing Tool, right? And, and do all these things so that you make sure that your site's mobile ready and that you've got an equivalent for every single page for when this update goes live and you don't lose any traffic. If you wanna find out more information about this, you can go to ignitevisibility.com and click on the mobile category We've written a ton of articles on this topic and there's more advanced things that you can do. That's it. Have a great day and see you next time.